Hey there, it's Simon Hurley from Inklips, and welcome to another video. Today I'm joining Newton's Nook for day three of the September release week. I'm going to be creating two cards in today's video with two completely different and fun techniques using the new stamp and die set called Pick a Pumpkin. The stamp set has all different pumpkin patterns, so it gives you lots of choices and versatilities in one set, as well as a stem and a face, and it also has a die set that perfectly coordinates. So I'm going to use Sparrow Ink from Simon's to Stamp, and I'm going to be inking up this large thanks stamp from Altenew. This is from the Halftone Thanks stamp set, and I'm going to be stamping it onto a white panel of cardstock near the bottom. You want to make sure that you can give it some good pressure, and you want to make sure that it'll stamp really nice and solid. This stamp set does fade at the top, which is really awesome, and I love this sentiment, and I really needed something big to kind of be the sentiment that goes along with the pumpkin, because the pumpkin is going to be the main focal point. So now here is the pumpkin stamp from the Pick a Pumpkin stamp set. I'm going to be using some sunshine ink first and inking up this pumpkin. And then I'm going to be going in with a darker color called orange peel. And I'm going to kind of roll it around the edges. I've done this technique in the past and I really love how it looks. And so I thought it would look great with this pumpkin today. So I'm just kind of tapping my ink pad onto there only on the edges and um, really only lightly touching the edges there. Finally, I'm going to go in with the Burnt Orange ink, which is a super dark color, and we're only going to really slightly touch the edges there to really get it nice and um, shaded. And then we're going to stamp the pumpkin down. I was really lucky that this Alta New Sentiment had a little gap in between some of the letters so that I could fit this nice pumpkin right in between there, and it's the perfect size. I'm going to then go in with Sparrow ink once again and stamp down that little stem right above the pumpkin. So our stamping is complete now on this card, and it's time to move on to the next one. So for this, I'm going to be using that die set, which I've cut out of some orange cardstock. I've cut the little pumpkin out, and I'm going to be using some Copic markers to color this in. This was a really simple way of doing it, and I'll kind of talk you through the whole process of how I did this. So I started out with a really light orange color, and I'll have them all listed on the screen here. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker orange, kind of leaving out some details right now. I'm just trying to get the shading put in. Then I'm going to go in with a light brown color and kind of add some of those lines that a pumpkin would have. So kind of some of those little ridges in it. And then I'm going to go in with an even darker brown. This one is super dark, and it kind of actually looks like, you know, how some pumpkins kind of lay in the fields and they get a little bit muddy. I wanted that look to be kind of on my pumpkin, so I added some even darker brown into there. Then I'm going back with the lighter brown and kind of shading it out, and all this time I'm going to be emphasizing those little lines even more. I really want this pumpkin to look nice and three-dimensional, so I'm just going to go keep going back through the order of my colors and blending these out really nicely. You'll notice how I'm still kind of leaving a highlight in the middle there. I want it to still be brighter um, to give it a little bit more dimension. <clears throat> and I'm going to add then just some yellow Copic marker as well. For the stem, I did not have any brown cardstock I really liked to use for this, so I'm just using a piece of white cardstock and coloring this in using three different shades of brown. And then I'm going to go back through that order again, just kind of blending these colors out. And I really think this turned out great, so I'm going to be flipping that pumpkin over, adding some adhesive on the back, and then adding that stem right on the back as well. And then when I flip this over, I'll have a perfect pumpkin using that die set, and I think it's just awesome. I love that die set for just making some pumpkins. Okay, so after I have fixed that up, I'm going to be adding some foam tape, and adding it once again right in between some of those letters on the Ulta New stamp. So then I'm just going to adhere that down. I like this one because it has a lot of dimension on it, so it really adds to the card. I'm going to then use the half-inch corner rounder and round the bottom two corners of my cards, and then add them onto a card base with some craft cardstock as well. Alright, so that finishes up today's cards. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up, and also, if you would like to see more videos like it, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I would really appreciate that. If you would like to see what all the other fantastic designers do uh, with this stamp and die set, I would encourage you to hop along the rest of the blog hop and leave some nice comments along the way, and you could be entered up for a chance to win a giveaway to win this stamp set. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. All the products will be listed and linked down below in the description, and you can stop over to my blog for more inspiration. Thanks. Bye, guys.